Hey guys, welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be building a pretty freaking epic building that transforms into a moving vehicle. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how I have made one in the past and what I'm going to do on screen to show you how to achieve a very similar result. So let's go ahead and start off building this thing and see what we can do with uh, just some very basic designs. Drag this across to the middle. Do the same on the back. I'm just going to try to go through this fast. And that way I can uh, build this uh, quicker. Okay. And then put that there. Why won't it let me build? There we go. And then I think I had the bearings on the outside here. Wheels here. It's, it's, I mean, I'm going through this like way faster than what I did the first time because I was like, I was just figuring out how to, uh, how to get it to look, how to get it to work out. So we need to one, two, and you have the controller back a little bit. We're going to have a switch on it just for testing right now. We'll move that switch eventually. And, uh, we want to power all of these first of all. We do want a little bit of delay on on them. Should probably do. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's just organize this because I don't wanna I don't wanna get into that kind of mess of uh, having to look and look constantly and find out where things are. One and two on the outside, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and so we want it to, the first ones to fold this way. So blue, blue. Okay, I think that's right. And we want to do what? Is it 180? I think this is what I had. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, ru I'm just rushing through it, guys. Just trying to get this back to where it was before it's it's gonna take a little bit of time and we, we probably have to do this in multiple videos yeah so this is what we wanted to do right here and then we're going to do 90 90 oops 90 I like that you can have so many things on on one of these and it should pop up there we go. That's what we wanted to do right there. So that's the very basic look of the design. That's how I had it before. So then what I did after that was I was making, I made space for everything to come out. And we're remember the goal is to hide this, hide all of this. This is, it's to make it look like a house and hide all of this. And so I'll show you. Hopefully this video helps and it's just kind of a very basic look at um, how to do this because it's pretty simple. All right, so now that we've got that set, what I did from there was I added in, um, let's see, an engine over here. And then I had the driver's seat come up out of the floor. And the way that I did that was I had, um, let's see a thing there the bearing on it and then I had uh, let's see it went pretty far like that and then we put another bearing on this one we ran this back this way sometimes okay we gotta make sure that's on the bearing I think I'd like that. And then we have, make sure it's touching this, this piece right here that you want to extend up. Um, and then, did I have that set to this? I think I had everything set to the same controller, if I, if I recall correctly. No, come on, what the heck, man? <laughs> Why you no work? Okay. So it should all work. Fold up, and then this should extend up. Just like that. 
That's exactly what we want. So now, from there, what I did was I connected the... Ah, uh, crap. I forgot to put the steering in. Make sure these are all going in the right direction. Good. Good. So now, we should be able to drive. Yep, okay, so we need to up the power to this. Get it on, like, four or so. I think maybe it was even higher than that. No, four is good. Okay, so we got this. Oh, four is too much, actually. Oh, actually, no, four will be fine, especially once we get everything else put on here. And then, so, you could have this connected to the switch. I'm going to eventually, but uh, for now, I'm just going to have it how it is, just so I can continue to build uh, effectively. Oh, 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 let's uh, get this on flatter ground here. Okay, and then we're going to hit the switch so it goes back down. I just love that, man. I love how it transforms. It's so great. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to start building up our our outside walls so it's hidden. But before we do that, I'm going to put a door in here so I can access everything below. I want everything to be hidden. You know, like I, I don't want it to look uh, like, you, like you're able to see everything, you know? I want it to all be hidden. All right, so then we want this to spin hours. I like keeping everything on blue. It's just easier for me to do that. Okay, so then we hit the switch door opens up all right so we got that done and then now let's go ahead and start building the outside of our walls which uh, I can't remember how high I had it how whatever the height is for the for the chair should we should extend everything first so we can check out how high the hair the, the hair the chair is <laughs> check out how high the hair is guys it looks really high because we want we want this to be even with uh, this front wall. Oh, we're going to have to extend this more. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Like that, right there. And then we're going to fill this in. Okay, so we've got one too many for right now, at least. Uh, we'll keep it because it's uh, the doors that being affected back there. Um, what's that going to look like? I can I can build on that. Yeah, I can I can build on that. Uh, okay. So then now what we need to do is we need to make sure we have enough room for the chair to come up out of the floor. And we'll close this off. And I think what I had to do last time was I had to I could have it like pretty much flush with it, but. In the back here, we need to we need to keep this open somewhat, and then I'm I got to figure out a way to get this to uh, close up effectively. So we've got the the door is one too high, and we can change that real fast. There we go. Okay, um, so now let's go ahead and put this on the jack so we can bring it down. And now what we need to do is we need to work on getting this chair to appear correctly. I'm going to put that lift down here to get up on top. So the chair should be in place uh, already. It should be good already. Let's remove that. And uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this because I want this front part to open up essentially. going to get rid of all this for now just so it's easier for me to work with okay so what I want to have happen is when I hit a switch up here this whole front wall this whole front area kind of goes away and so actually I shouldn't have probably had to get rid of that we want it to look like a house first of all so we're going to build this up, like so. And I think what we can do to get that to, to, get that to fold away is to have a center uh, piece with bearings on it. 
on the roof that essentially picks it up and puts it behind it. And so, or, or just lifts it straight up. And I think I have one too many. Oh no, we, we're leaving ourselves some space, okay. And uh, let's see, we want this to be right here, essentially. And so, what I need to do is have um, a bearing here. This goes down like that. And extend this up and out. Okay, so I think that should work. Because what's going to happen is this is going to flip straight up. I think that'll work. And then we need... Oh, did I do it one too many? Well, it's all going to work together anyway, so it doesn't really doesn't really matter too much. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. All right, so like that. And then like so. Whoops. Crap. I'm stuck. I need to get up. There we go. That's clever. All right, and I think we this should work. Now what we need to do is we need to take, put a controller. Let's just hide it, so we want everything to be hidden. And then put a switch on the wall here. That'll open up. Here. That'll open up the front window. Alright. Like that. And so we want blue, we want that, like that. And then like so. And then if I can access it, I can. Uh, we're doing what? Red to go up, red to go up. Uh, I don't know if 180 is going to work, right? I don't think it will. 180 is going to, like, break it. Why are you lagging out right here? Oh, the, the lift in the front. There we go. Okay, so we're going to slow that down a little bit. 360, what? Somehow it went all the way around. You need to be on 180. There we go. Um, that's backwards. Okay. So let's slow that down. Like so. Alright, so when you come in, we'll have, uh, let's make some windows here. So it looks like a house. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four. And then three up. Okay, so there we go. The front of it looks like a house. We hit E, this opens up together. It looks a little broken, which is weird. I don't know why it looks that way. And then the rest of this doesn't matter, we can just fill this in. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. This is only part one of this guide video on how to make a transforming, drivable house. So make sure to check back tomorrow for part two and I'll show you what I finish up with. So make sure to tune in for that. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, click that thumbs up button below. Feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.